Next up, we have MediClinic International, which is South Africa's biggest private hospital group by value and is controlled by Remgro. They have assets in Switzerland, the UAE, the UK and South Africa. They recently listed on the LSE by way of a reverse takeover of, of Al Noor Hospital Group. It has a market cap of 151 billion rand, a PE ratio of 39 and a dividend yield of 0.55%. So mm. ironically, this one's actually listed in London. Mm. But their operations in the UK mm. aren't huge. They've got mm. that small stake in Spire. Mm. Um, but other than that, their biggest assets is in Switzerland. Mm. Um, and then, you know, pushing into the Middle East and then, of course, South Africa. So reporting in pounds, but earning your money elsewhere, weaker pound actually benefited MediClinic. Yeah, fr from a translational point of view, yes. I mean, obviously, that, that Spire, I mean, they own probably, what, 30% of Spire. So that, that really will be the concern. But overall, I like you say, I mean, Switzerland, what, it's, it's just over 50% of... Uh, of their revenue and and South Africa as well I mean making up about 30 percent of revenue so that's that's where the bulk is coming from um, if you then look at the the UAE operation I mean that's really where the excitement is both mm. Switzerland and and South Africa are fairly developed markets which is which is good I mean we, we expect their, their sort of earnings growth to tick along high single digits um, which is, which is great because remember hospitals, is, it's a very, very high barrier to entry kind of industry. It's very difficult to go and start a hospital group to compete. So, so I mean, we, we see them, you know, those are, are definitely two, two assets that are going to help uh, to, to maintain the stability of the stock. But then the, the real excitement is definitely in the UAE. I mean, obviously with the El Nur transaction, I mean, they almost doubled their, their footprint there. And uh, I mean, they're obviously they're, they're looking at, you know, huge synergies after the deal, but also, you know, being able to, to scale up uh, and, and improve the quality of the healthcare there. Um, also, obviously, with uh, just the demographic dividend that they're going to get, higher disease burden trends as well. It, it looks like, uh, you know, that's, that's really where the kick is going to be. And I think, yeah, again, you look at it day two after Brexit, this, this stock ended up in a market that was down, what, almost 1,600 points. Mm. Uh, th this, this one ends positive. And I mean, yes, it is the sector that it's operating in, but that's it. It's, it's a quality business. And if, you, if you're holding something like this in your portfolio, this is really where you do, you generate stability with a company like this. And I think also with that big backing of Remgro, mm -hmm. I get the feeling after the London listing, these guys will also be on the acquisition mm. front. So also mm. licking their lips at the opportunities. Mm. I'm pretty sure they're looking for another entry point to probably buy another stake in Spire, mm. probably have to make an offer to minorities and eventually buy that whole business out. Mm. So, you know, a pullback in that share price, which mm. it has, uh, with the rest of the exchange, also offers an opportunity for MediClinic as an acquirer and consolidator in that sector. Yeah, absolutely, and, and I think that's like, when you know, when markets are selling off, cash is king. So if you've got uh, you know sh you know shareholders like Remgro backing you, uh, you have the ability to access the capital markets. So th these are the guys that, that can really make uh, the most of of uh, weaker markets. So although this one, if we have a look at the share price, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, hasn't pulled back as much as mm -hmm. the rest. In fact, has sort of been quite resilient. Mm -hmm. um, are you still happy to be buying into MediClinic at these levels? I think so. Uh, I mean, we hold many clinic in the portfolio, in our portfolios as well, and it's. Um you, you know, you kind of always want to buy on weakness, so I probably wouldn't go diving in today. I mean, give so it a if you're sitting on cash, you wouldn't exactly jump into medical because you're not taking in, advantage yeah, of yeah, a pullback. Exactly, you're not taking advantage of a pullback, and. Uh, <coughs> you know, you look at it, I think, you know, we, we're probably going to have risk, this risk off sort of sentiment for a while. So to see MediClinic pull back below sort of 200 a share mm. is probably fairly likely. Um, but at that stage, definitely it would, would be accumulating. So during a period of when you've got choices for days, we're not going to quite delve into MediClinic just yet, mm. but certainly hot. Yeah, hot certainly. On it's def definitely hot. Yeah. Cool. 100% agree.